you're someone who doesn't have access to MLS properties yet or MLS data, this is the solution to your problem so you can find accurate, good comps that you can rely on for your ARV. So come on in guys, I'm gonna show you guys here on my computer exactly how you find that. Let's wholesale real estate. We're gonna wholesale real estate. If you wanna wholesale real estate, then you are in the right place. You don't need no money, you don't need no credit. It's so simple that anyone can get it. Luke's gonna teach you just how to get started. All you have to do is learn and apply it. You are in the right place. You're gonna wholesale real estate. You're gonna wholesale real estate. So let's get started. What's going on, guys? It is your host, Luke Madez, and welcome to another episode of School of Wholesaling. On this show, we talk about everything wholesaling, guys. And I'm actually here right now in my office, and I was doing some work, looking up some comparables, making a few calls. And uh, just analyzing a few properties that we're looking at today uh, to see if there's any potential of a deal. And it got me thinking, uh, I wanted to give you guys something today that is going to be very useful. I want to give you guys a tool that we use every day in our business to analyze deals um, that has been revolutionary and such a game changer uh, in our business. Um, I want to introduce you guys to a piece of software that you can utilize uh, to run your comps and it does much much more than that but today I just want to show you guys how to find your ARV if you guys heard my last podcast guys then you would have known that I was talking about uh, how exactly to uh, find your numbers and one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to actually show you guys a video on how we actually determine our ARV how to actually run comps and best of all we're going to show it to show you guys how to do it on a software called PropStream that we use all the time to do this because we are able to access MLS comps even without a realtor's license we can access these MLS comps on this software so if you're someone who doesn't have access to MLS properties yet or MLS data this is the solution to your problem so you can find accurate good comps that you can rely on for your ARV so come on in guys I'm going to show you guys here on my computer exactly how you find that so this is the software here when you first log in guys oh, by the way uh, for you guys who want access to this software you can simply click the link in the description of the video um, you can also uh, click the link somewhere on the video to be able to take you to where you guys can get this software um, it's www.getmlscomps.com www.getmlscomps dot com and you can get access to to this software guys it's really really awesome it's got a lot a lot of tools in it but what I'm gonna show you today is I'm gonna show you how to run your ARV utilizing MLS data to ensure that you are able to uh, find good accurate information to help you discover uh, what your mayo should be on the property that you are looking at so I'm gonna start here guys what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start and I'm gonna put in a property address here of a property that um, we recently purchased to show you how you can um, I'm going to show you here a property that we recently have just uh, purchased to show you how you can utilize this software to uh, to find your ARV and uh, and then find out uh, what the property could eventually sell for so alright guys here's the property that we're looking at right here so when you type in the property address here in the search bar um, this the property uh, is going to actually pop up here under the uh, searches you'll actually see it you want to make sure that you always select the address that's written the right way sometimes you might get it where it's doubled the city and state is doubled we want to just do the one that is just written the right way so that way PropStream can register the exact property uh, once we have that here what we want to do in order to find comparables in the area what we want to do is we want to go to property details right here when we click this it's going to open up all of the details about the property now this information comes from the public record guys so um, you'll be able to see who the owner is of the property you'll be able to see the mailing address you'll be able to see uh, practically everything that you would see on the uh, public records on the assessment site will be shown here um, so the thing is uh, when you get into this part of of Frostream, what you want to do is you want to take a look at the comparables and nearby listings but if you can see here guys you can see everything about the property property characteristics the building size the land and location information legal description taxes everything is literally included uh, right in here so you can see everything you need to see just like you would on the assessment site so again what we want to do here is we want to go to the comparables and nearby listings and PropStream automatically uh, shows public record comps 
So it's gonna so public record comps are records that are both uh, on the MLS and off the MLS. All the records that have that have been updated in the public records uh, recently sold within uh, the date the sale date range that you put in here are gonna pop up. So this uh, this this calculates both on market and off market properties. So this is always a good search as well to see what's going happening off market as well as on market. Um, so what you want to do guys is once you have this up here, I like to search this and then I like to search the MLS just to see if, if I see any difference in, uh, in activity. Uh, but what I'd like to do here is I like to start trimming out, um, the other properties, the excess properties. We got three thirty seven uh, comparables here. However, we want to make sure that the comparables are very close to the property that we're looking at, um, to, uh, get numbers for. All right. So the very first thing is, uh, if you look here under, under the comparable property section, uh, this area here is where all your comparables are going to show up. The first house, the first address is actually the address of the house you're looking at. So what you want to do guys is you just want to ensure that you are looking at apples to apples. So the really cool thing about this is because it has the uh, property information of your property as well as others, uh, you can easily look at all of the property information you need to start trimming out the fat uh, on all of the uh, comparables you're looking for. Uh, I believe PropStream automatically kind of does like a little, uh, uh, it has a little algorithm in, in, regard, in, regard, in regards to the square footage. So it automatically trims out the square footage for you and it looks at um, what looks to be about a 300 uh, plus or minus uh, range in square footage, which is pretty reasonable. We like to look at about a 200, but this is okay too. 300 is fine. Um, so we'll we'll leave this just the way it is. Uh, the distance, we'll look half a mile out. Uh, bedrooms and bathrooms, we want to get as close as possible. So um, it's okay to look at two bedrooms. Um, if it's a if it's a three two, you preferably want to look at uh, properties with uh, at least two bed uh, two bathrooms as well. Um, there's still a lot guys, there's 23 of them still there. So let's go ahead, let's trim out the year built. This property here was built in the year 1978. So we want to look about plus or minus, uh, preferably 10 years, but if we need to, we'll go 20. So let's just do 20 for the sake of example, for the sake of example. So we'll look at 1958 and then we'll look all the way up to 1980, sorry, 98. Okay. And we'll be left with, let's see. All right, so these here, we have 23 comps that are still available. So let's trim it down. We didn't see any change. So let's trim these down. So we'll look 10 years. And guys, we still have a huge number of comps, 19 comps still left. So we want to trim that down, guys. That's plenty of information. So let's go down. Let's trim down the beds and let's go exactly three bedrooms at least and exactly two bedrooms at least. So as you can see, guys, what I'm doing is I'm getting closer and closer and closer as possible to our target property here. Um, so another thing I could do is I could go because we have 12, 12 comps here. I, I'm going to go and shorten the, shit, the, the sale date range. Uh, originally, the sale date range is about a year. We're going to go back six months. So that way, we're only looking at comps that are very recent. And look, guys, we still got seven comps. This is a very active area. Um, we can see all the comps here. And everything's within a half mile radius, which is perfect. If we wanted to, we could trim the fat some more and we could look at properties that are very close much, much closer in square footage. Let's go maybe plus or minus about 100 square feet. So if we do that, we'll end up at 1450 and 1250 because ours is about 1327. And guys, look at that. Look at that. Right on the money. 3232, three, all within the within the 1300s on the square footage. Um, and as we see here, there's also another cat. There's a cast sale here as well. But... Uh, these are our comps, guys. These are our comps. So what we want to do, we're going to want to organize this by sale date, by sale amount. And what I like to do is I like to look at the top three sales. We got one here for 260, another one for 260, and a third one here for 239. Clearly, there's a huge difference between the 188 and the 164 that we see here. So this is most likely renovated houses. So we're just going to take a quick look at some of these homes just to see in what condition they're in. This one here has a pool. Our property does not have a pool, so we want to account for that as well, guys, when we're, when we're considering our ARV. We want to uh, make sure that we're accounting for those special features. But if you look here, this job it has is a renovation. It's a very clean. It's not extravagant, but it's a very, very clean house. Um, and 
another thing we want to look at too, guys, uh, the thing that the public record search doesn't show you that I'm going to show you that the MLS comps will show you is how quickly these houses have sold. Um, because there's no MLS data on the public record, on public records, you're not able to see when the property was listed, when the property was sold. Uh, so I'll show you just in a little bit here how to utilize the MLS comps feature to see how quickly some of these houses are selling. But right now, we just want to kind of have an idea of the neighborhood. We have one here for 260. We just looked at that. We have another one here for 260. We'll take a look at this. So look, another pool home, guys. Another pool home. So this means that what this tells us is that two, we have two pool homes. Both sold at around 260,000. Both of them look to be in renovated shape, um, really good shape, really nice clean home. Um, so both of these houses sold for 260. So if we have a house with a pool in that size, we're looking at about a $260,000 uh, ARV. Okay, and keep in mind too, guys, these houses both sold uh, just recently. One of them sold December 16th, another one sold November 8th. Uh, we have the third one here at 238, much lower on the scale. Let's just see what we're looking at here. Brick house, very nice uh, 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 Lene area here. Uh, let's see. Uh, the house is definitely outdated. Look at the floors. Definitely an outdated home. Kitchen's outdated. It's nothing like the other homes, right? Very outdated house, but it's very, very clean. Notice it's very clean. It's a very clean house. All this house needs is some cosmetic updates. The yard looks okay. Uh, brick home looks like it's got a brand new roof up there. So. The house was well maintained. It's just very outdated, and the house sold for 230. So what that lets me know is that 238, almost 240, 240,000, a house can sell in this area without having the modernized updates and just missing those cosmetic updates. It, it was able to sell. So what this tells us, guys, is that a house without a pool is selling around 240. So right now I'm hovering my ARV right around 240,000 dollars for this house. Um, so if I look at the comps here. Uh, if we look at some more comps, we look at one for 188. This one should most likely, well, this is an incomparable. So let's do this. This is actually a townhouse. So let's let's also comp, uh, let's also uh, filter out property type. Make sure we're only looking at single families. Make sure we're only looking at residential single families. So let's take a look here. They got one for we got a sell here for 130 thousand dollars cash. So this is the lowest sell in the area is it was for 130. Apparently this is a townhouse. So. That is incomparable. So let's look at the next one, 164.9. Another townhouse, that's incomparable. Another townhouse for 188, that's incomparable. So guys, we literally only have two properties here. So we have another one that's number six. So one, yeah, we have three properties that are only comparable to the one that we're looking at. Um, very important to know, uh, you want to try and filter out your 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 condos guys uh, that's very very important as well um, you want to look apples to apples so if you have coming up with condo comps or townhouse comps but you're looking at a single family house you want to be able to filter those out all right so so far what we're looking if we take all of these three addresses here and take the three sale amounts and we average them out that'll give us an idea of what our ARV is uh, with the three comps that we have if we go to MLS comps here guys and put in the same information 1250 square feet uh, up to 1450 square feet and we're looking at a sale date range of about six months and remember guys what we're looking for now is we're looking at the we're looking at the MLS comp so these are comps that were actually sold on the MLS through a realtor so that's what we're looking at now so we're gonna do the same process we're gonna filter everything out so we can see what's going on Again, we only want to look at residential. We only want to look at single families. We want to look a half a mile away. That's what we got. All right, so we got we got the same three. But check this out, guys. This is what I want to show you. Look at look at this area here. Days on market, right? So we got the same three comps we had before. The difference is now because we're looking on the MLS, we're actually able to see how fast they sold. So let, so let's take a look at this got a few comps here number two I think number two might be a townhouse let's just double check that so let's take number two off our list so we got these three here look at this average average price per square foot is 188.82 average days on market is 25 days average sales price is about 252 so it's so the, the software has done it for me it has already let me know what the average is between the three comps that I have selected 
uh, and it has already given me spat me out an average sales price so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this I can either take the price per square foot or I could just use this average sales price to get an idea of what the property will sell for that I'm looking at all right guys so that's pretty much how you how you get the ARV of any home uh, you can utilize prop stream this way to run all your comps you can use the MLS comps and the really good thing that I like about the MLS comp feature guys is you're able to see how active this area is in terms of how demanding it is any house that sells under a week guys is a very demanding home and we have three houses that sold in less than a week we got one that sold in 78 days those that's really good numbers guys average of 25 days flippers like that all right guys so that's pretty much it guys uh as you can see it's very very simple i hope this video has been very 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 helpful for you if you guys have any questions whatsoever please feel free to reach out to me you can hit me on ig send me a dm at luke Madeus. that is l-u-c-m-a-d-e-u-s on instagram guys let me know whatever questions you guys have. Also, feel free to comment right below in this YouTube video, guys. Again, if you want to download this software, if you want to get access to this web-based software that allows you to pull MLS data, guys, and much, much more, which I, which I encourage every one of you guys to really explore this software because it has so much more power than what I just showed you. But if you want access to it, guys, you can go to getmlscomps.com. You can find a link somewhere around in this video, and you can also find it in the uh, bio of this video guys in the description you can find it there as well uh guys please don't forget subscribe to this video i want to keep giving you guys content i want to keep giving you guys really good tools that you guys can use like this tool here that can help you do your business more efficiently and also help you close more deals so if you guys have enjoyed this show today go ahead subscribe share it with a friend all right guys that's it for today's show i hope you guys get out there crush it and i hope this was valuable for you and let's wholesale real estate Peace.